Ahead. In this period of time, if they wanted to do a specific twist, they would turn up a drum mm -hmm. on a straight blade, and they would nail two boards together as a gauge right. until they got that straight. Then you lay that on a flat surface, mark a line across the end through the center, okay. the diameter. Right. They've not used a pencil yet. Then you take a chalk line and lay it on, of course you mark both ends. Right. You lay a chalk line on a table, lay the one diameter on there, on the chalk line, roll it over one revolution, pi D, yeah. is your circumference. Right. Right. They still haven't used a pencil. Right. Okay, now you say you want one turn and 50. So you measure down here 50 inches on the original chalk line, come up with the square to the second chalk line, mark, take your chalk line and run it from there to there, set this drum back down on one of the diameter lines, roll it over. You've just figured the helix angle of one turn in 50 inches on that diameter. Right. You bring it back, turn it 180 degrees, set it back down on that line, roll it over again. Now you get out your hammer and chisel. Chisel groove, huh? Chisel a groove. Yeah. And they didn't use a pencil. Right. They didn't use a calculator. Right. And there's formulas for all those things. A sample of the rifle done on this machine, if you look at that from both directions, it's different on both directions. It's faster on the the muzzle end. Oh, it's not it's not a straight. No. See how straight this is? Yeah. See how sharp this is coming around? This this is the, the breach there. Yeah, it's the breach. Yeah. And when, when we're working, usually we have a guy wiping the chips off. And if he is too slow and I catch the brush, it stalls me. I can't stop. Thank you.